I'm curious what you think about the inflation, if you could call it that, that's happened in the stock market um, and, and whether you uh, in the public stock market, that is during this period, if you had told me that we'd have 10 percent unemployment and the market would be where it is today, uh, I probably would not have believed you just five months ago. And I think there's a real concern about that. But if you talk to people like Ray Dalio or or Mark Benioff and others, they're talking about inflation in other places like the markets, like housing uh, and the like and, uh, and and the inequality that may come with that. So, I mean, asset prices are something that we look at in terms of financial conditions. We don't think about that in terms of inflation, per se. When we're thinking about inflation, we're thinking about goods and service price inflation when we're looking at right, our goal of percent But, I mean, one of the things that the new statement does say is that when we're doing, you know, trying to set monetary policy to, to look at, um, to hit our two, two goals of price stability and maximum employment, we do take into account uh, financial stability, because, in, uh, you know, financial conditions are stable, financial markets are stable, we can then hit our goals and vice versa. There's a linkage there. And so risk, you know, we, we routinely look at risk in the financial markets. Yeah, and, you know, stock prices are high and it, it does look like they're being driven by where investors think the economy is going. Remember, this is not a typical downturn. It's being driven by things exogenous to sort of the economy per se, right? It's the virus. And the underlying fundamentals of the economy were very strong before going into this pandemic period. So investors are making their decisions based on some of the underlying conditions on the economy, which is one of the things that the Fed actions are intended to do is to make sure that we can get back to that good economy that we had in February before the pandemic struck. And similarly with fiscal policy, that's their goal too, is to make sure that we can get over this pandemic period to a, the better economy we had in the past. And I think that the stock market is, is reflecting some of that interpretation of what's going on now in the economy.